Hey everybody, it's Jason here from Benson Farms and uh, this evening we're going to be cooking up some burgers. This is uh, one of the favorites for Carol Lee and Jackson and uh, for me. Uh, we call this one the Barnyard Burger, so uh, I'll show you what we got going on here. Alright, so what we got here is some Benson Farms grass finished beef. We're going to be doing some smash burgers and then we've got some uh, bacon, that is some uh, bacon that we got from one of the neighboring farms and uh, we've got some uh, fresh eggs that uh, we collected from the chickens uh, earlier today and a little bit of cheese so uh, let's get going. So the first thing we're going to get going on is the bacon. We've got our griddle on about 350 degrees and we'll put a little bit of oil down and uh, get our bacon laid down. We'll let that get going good and then we'll get our burgers going and the last thing we'll do is our eggs. So the first thing we got going here is our bacon. We uh, got the griddle on about 350 degrees. Like I said, this is bacon that comes from one of our neighboring farms down the road ways, and it's not pastured. Uh, they do raise in houses, but it's hormone and antibiotic free, so it's something that we feel good about giving the kids, and it's absolutely delicious. Alright, we got our bacon done. I've got it moved off to the side. And the next thing I'm going to do is get going on some smash burgers. Because I like to take a little bit of margarine and uh, put that on. Let it melt in good. And then we'll drop the burgers on there. Help us get that nice smash burger crust. mash them out and I like to hold them for about a tin can. Now one thing I will note about grass finished beef, uh, about our grass finished beef, is that you'll notice that the beef doesn't have the bright red color that you might expect uh, from like a grocery store ground beef. And that's because all of our beef is dry aged. So our butcher hangs the beef for 14 days. Really brings out the flavor 
and uh, it makes it tender. And during that aging process, one of the things that happens is the meat tends to just gray. Um, and another thing to note about this grass finished beef is that, um, you know, the, um, the red juices in your meat is not blood, you know, all the blood is, uh, is drained when the beef is processed. Uh, that's actually myoglobin. And uh, grass finished beef uh, tends to have a lot higher levels of myoglobin because it's directly related to the amount of exercise the animal gets and uh, to the health of the animal. So um, the reason I bring that up is because when I'm cooking these burgers, I always check them with a thermometer. I want to make sure I've got them to 165 degrees. And these burgers can actually be done 165 degrees, completely safe to eat, and still have pink because of those really high levels of myoglobin. All right, so Carolee showed up to help me. She's going to be manning the camera from here on out. And we've got our bacon and our burgers ready. So now we're going to fry some eggs and we'll be ready to have some barnyard burgers. You excited about that, Carolee? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you love smash burgers? Mm-hmm. You can use words. I know. Some fresh eggs. Uh -oh. Oh, I'll have to go wash my hands. I forgot to put my gloves on. Burger here is black, guys. More double. I should have finished second burger here. Alright, there's your boba with the double bacon, bacon negative barnyard burger. Can I have some double also? Mm -hmm. Can I have some double also? Yours gonna be double? Yeah. No, yours is not gonna be double. Let's pick you out a good one though. Let's see. That one? Alright. Lola says that's a good one. So here's your egg. Alright. Get your bacon on there. Carolee's bacon barnyard burger. Nice and egg. Here it comes. Papa looking for his. Papa, do you want a double? No. That one. That one? Yeah. Is that Papa's? Yeah. And that one's a little yours. Uh oh, uh oh. Why didn't it cook? That one ran a little. Uh -huh. Over easy, huh? So, like that from yours. Best way to fry an egg. You don't have to cook the gel. 